A Place for Pluto, written by Steve Wade, art by Melanie Demmer. For the better part of forever, Pluto was a planet, one of the famous nine. He was the smallest and the farthest from the sun, but he was proud just the same. Can you name the famous nine? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Then, one day, Saturn with her rings slashing and Jupiter with his entourage of moons beside him told Pluto the worst news ever. You're not a planet anymore. You're just not big enough. Sorry. Even though Pluto orbited around the sun and was mostly round, the creatures on Earth decided he was too small. But I'm in all the school books, Pluto said. Time to rewrite history. I don't have time for this, said Mars. I've got visitors to prepare for. Pluto was crushed. He tried to protest, but it was no use. Feeling sad and rejected, Pluto left with Karen and his other four moons by his side to find his place in the galaxy. As Pluto moved along, his friend Haley's comet streaked past. Haley, haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I get that a lot. Haley was a comet and still part of the solar system. But comets have tails, and Pluto did not. Pluto wasn't a comet or a planet. He was a nobody. Feeling more blue than brown, Pluto kept moving. When Pluto saw Jem, Percy, and Ori crashing in as dusty rocket comet tails, he wondered if he could join them. The meteoroids were always having fun and clowning around. This time, they were trying to smash into Earth. You should try this, Pluto. No, thanks. Earth is kind of like a mother to me. Then Ida, the asteroid, orbited by. Pluto and Ida were nearly the same size. Pluto thought he'd finally figured out his true identity. Hey, Ida, Pluto said. Do you mind if I join you for a spin in the asteroid belt? Wish you could, Pluto, but the rule books say rocks only. You know asteroids are rocks, right? Pluto wasn't a planet, or a comet, or an asteroid. He missed being a planet. He missed his old friends. He missed feeling like he belonged. Too small to be a planet, too big to be a rock. I used to fit in here, but now I do not. No one in the solar system was a match for Pluto. He spun around the sun like everyone else, but he wasn't a planet, or a comet, or an asteroid, or a meteoroid. Pluto had nowhere to turn. He was about to give up when he saw someone he'd never seen before. He felt like he was looking in a mirror. Pardon me, Pluto said, if I sound rude, but what are you? I'm a dwarf planet. My name is Eris, and these are my friends, Haumea, Makimaki, and Ceres. Pluto stared in wonder at the four dwarf planets. They were too small to be planets, but too big to be rocks. They were not planets, or comets, or meteoroids, or asteroids. They were just like him. You're just what I've been searching for, Pluto cried. Really? Then you should join us, said the dwarf planets. Pluto felt more like himself than ever before. He couldn't wait to tell his old friends about his new ones. And it turns out his old friends missed him too. We're sorry, Pluto, said Saturn. Just because you're not a planet anymore doesn't mean we don't love you, said Earth. Pluto was over the moon. He was part of the solar system with friends, both old and new. He smiled an intergalactic smile that was out of this Milky Way. Let's celebrate with some chocolate. 
These feelings warm me to the core. I can feel the love. Dwarf Planet has a nice ring to it. Neighbors forever. I'm so glad you're making friends, honey. Dwarf Planet's rock. Glad you're not feeling blue anymore. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Way to go, little man. Until we meet again. The end.